Hey guys, Q here, and uh, I decided I'm going to show you all my PS3 games. Um, I do not uh, have my systems out really right now. They're kind of in a box like that, you know. So either way, I'm going to start these off. They're not in any specific order, so here we go, guys. First up. PS3's Greatest Hits, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Absolutely love this game. I think it's the best one out of their series. And um, hands down, Grand Theft Auto 5 is not too bad, but this is the best one to me. Next up, Wet. Very fun game. Um, I forget her name, but... Uh, it's her game type thing. It's an actress. If you guys remember who it is, let me know in the comments. I'm completely uh, brain farting on that one. But it's a fun game. A little hard to play at times, but all in all, some fun. Next up here I got... I did not pay $24.99 for it. Um, I got it for like 3 bucks, And it's Smackdown vs. Raw 2010. And I believe this has general manager mode, and that is my favorite mode in these wrestling games. I wish they kept them. Now, next up here is Grand Theft Auto V. One of my absolute favorite Grand Theft Auto games. I have completed the story 100% so many times on the Xbox 360, on the PS3 twice. And um, when you collect everything 100%, all you get is um, uh, like a go-kart type thing that Franklin gets to drive and it makes weird noises and it's supposed to be like space, spacey sounds, more like 80 spacey sounds. But either way, uh, I'll try to move these over. <clears throat> that way there, there'll be room for more. Next up here, I got... Lego Jurassic World, and this is pretty fun, guys. Uh, it has all three uh, Jurassic Parks and the Jurassic World game, uh, movie, sorry. And uh, I like these Lego games. They're actually kind of fun and funny all at the same time, and quite enjoyable. Now, next up here, I got The Godfather, The Dawn's Edition. Really fun game. I really enjoyed this one. I even like Godfather Part 2, and I'm not sure if they came out with a Godfather Part 3. If they did, I haven't played that one yet. Um, next up here, I got WWE 13. I see CM Punk on the cover. Live the Revolution. It was okay. Now, next up here, I have Rage Anarchy Edition. This is one of my all-time favorite first-person shooting games. It is such a blast. It has an open world. Um, there's so much creativity in this. You got uh, little remote control cars that explode. Um, you got these boomerangs that have like uh, knives on them and they chop off people's heads and stuff or get stuck into their head. It's pretty neat. All right, next up here I got Dishonored. Game of the Year Edition. And guys, this was a fun one. I enjoyed the storyline. Uh, you're able at one time to control rats, and the rats end up swarming up uh, the enemy type thing and eats them alive, and you see bones and stuff, and you hear them screaming. It's pretty cool. So next up, I got The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Now, this is pretty cool. It follows Daryl and Merle, but more Daryl. You, you are Daryl, and um, this is the most fun... Uh, uh, Walking Dead game I have ever played, guys. Uh, I played them all, but I enjoyed this one the most so far. Uh, I haven't played any on the newer systems yet, but uh, this is the one that I love. I have finished it three or four times already, and when you finish the game, you do get bonuses, and they is so much fun, especially once you get Daryl's uh, crossbow near the end of the game, and then you get to use it uh, on the next gameplay, so you start fresh with uh, Daryl's crossbow. And when you do shoot the zombies, you can uh, get the the bolts back for the crossbow. So you never run out of ammo. I thought that was cool. All right, guys. Next up here, 
Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I love the Call of Duty games. Every single one of them I find is fun, amazing looking. I love the graphics and the storylines are really awesome. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I do not own the first one for the PS3. I do own it for my computer. Now coming up here is Batman Arkham City. Absolutely love these Arkham games. They are so fun. This one actually came with uh, the Batman Year One Edition, which is on my PlayStation. I can watch it anytime I want. Um, really awesome little animated movie. And I also got the strategy guide for it. And I'll just scroll through it real quick here. Has some nice artwork and whatnot there. Shows you locations and whatnot and how to get around things. It even uh, ends up showing you the uh, characters. Seeing all the different characters, what they do. Really cool uh, strategy guide. I got that strategy guide when I got the game. Now next up here, Alien vs Predator. You guys already saw a bit of gameplay on this one. Really awesome game. Next up here, I got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Again, I love all the Call of Duty games. And next up, Duke Nukem Forever. Love Duke Nukem. He is such a great character for a video game. And uh, this is such a fun game. I've never finished it yet. There is one part where I'm just stuck and I just can't seem to finish it. But I will one day. I'll always get back to the games I'm stuck in. And next up here, I got Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. Absolutely awesome game. If uh, Ultimate Evil Edition, too. If you're into role-playing games, this one would be for you. Um, absolutely love the Diablo series. You should try this one. You guys can go online and play multiplayer, too. Next up here, I got Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Love these games. The Uncharted uh, series is fantastic. And then next up here, I got some Star Trek from the remake movies. This was actually an awesome game. Um, I did play and finish it. Uh, you get to play as Spock or Captain Kirk. I have played as both. Um, if you team up with someone, you can choose between Kirk and Spock. And um, what happens in this game, they kind of mention it. I think it's in the second movie that they came out with, with the remake. It's either the second or the third, but they do mention the events of here. Not much, but a little bit. All right, guys. Next up here, I got Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And in this game, they actually mention my home city. So I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, I love the Uncharted games. I did have the third one, but it didn't want to work, unfortunately. So I got a dud copy. Next up, I got... Batman Arkham Origins, also a very fun game. I love all the Batman Arkham games. Next up here, I got Lego Marvel Avengers. Again, very fun. It has, uh, I think, three or four of the Marvel Avengers films in this game. And uh, quite a bit of characters. And it has a lot of funny moments that they kind of throw in there. And Stan Lee is in it, too, as a character. Little Lego character. Next up here, I got The Godfather Part 2. Absolutely love this game. It's way different than the first one, but I enjoyed it. And next up here, I got The Saboteur. Absolutely love this game too, because it's black and white, and when you do things in a certain area, it ends up turning into color. It's dealing with Nazis in France, and... Um, has a decent storyline. It's an open world like a Grand Theft Auto type game. If you guys haven't tried it out, I uh, recommend you do. It's pretty fun. Alrighty guys, almost done here. Next up, I got Dead Space. 
really awesome horror game, guys. I'm hoping to show you some of this gameplay one day. Um, it absolutely uh, gave me the creeps playing this game, and I enjoy that. I love when games can freak me out. So next up, I got Dead Space 2. Greatest hits, of course, but really awesome uh, sequel to the first game. And uh, I did not enjoy it as much because I have already knew what to do. And But uh, the storyline was weird. It gets weirder as it goes on. And uh, it's still enjoyable, but I really like the first one the best. Now next up here, guys is Twisted Metal for the PS3. Came with the Twisted Metal Black PS2 game free. It is downloaded into my PS3 and I can play that anytime I wish. Now, I also bought the strategy guide for Twisted Metal. And it shows the maps and where all the items are. This wasn't as great as I was expecting it to be, this game, but overall it was still pretty fun. I wanted them to come out with another one, and they never did, and um, it was just disappointing that uh, you didn't get to play as many characters in this one. You only had like three or four different storylines instead of like eight, but either way... That's Twist and Metal, guys. Now, next up here is Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition. Really cool first-person view shooting game. I love the Medal of Honor series. I love the uh, first Medal of Honor game on the uh, PS1. I thought that was fun. Now, next up here, I got Rockstar Games Presents Red Dead Redemption. Love this. I really do. Grand Theft Auto in the Wild West. Um, can't go wrong. I have finished this game and it has a sad ending. Um, I have never finished it 100% though. There is a few things that get a little tricky for me, but uh, I get like 98% done. But it's still very, very awesome game. I really enjoy this. I do prefer the Undead Nightmare version. It's the horror version. And uh, you get to go after zombies. Now, next up here is Disney's Kingdom Hearts 1.5, and I adore this game, guys. If you are a fan of Final Fantasy and Disney growing up, watching a lot of Disney films, a lot of those Disney films that you watched are in this game, and uh, they did it very well, because me, I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy, and uh, I like Disney. I'm not going to say I don't, and, uh, well... I like a lot of their older stuff. But that's a very fun game. I need to get part two. And I know they have like a three and a four and whatnot. But I like to get the collection. Next up here I got NHL Legacy Edition. This was okay. It wasn't uh, one of the funner uh, NHL games that I have played. Now coming up here is one of my all-time favorites. And it is... The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, I had just a blast with this game. Absolutely beautiful graphics, beautiful atmosphere, awesome sound. Um, I don't know any bad things about this game, it's just so fun. And um, lots to do, lots and lots and lots to do in that game. Alright guys, coming up here is Infamous Collection. And it has both Infamous games, 1 and 2. I like the first one way better than the second one. The second one was annoying. But, um, yeah, Infamous. If you haven't checked out Infamous, check out Infamous. Next up here, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. And this is an awesome game, guys. It has so much on here. Some good old Sega classics. You know, Streets of Rage and Sonic and uh, Golden Axe and a whole whack of games. So much fun. Sonic Spinball's on there. Now, next up here I got Call of Duty Black Ops. Also, another fun Call of Duty game. I never came across a Call of Duty game I did not like. I'm just trying to speed it up, guys. I do apologize for how long it is taking. 
I just want to move this little stack over so it's not taking up more space here. I have just a little bit more to go and then I'm done, guys. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go and then we're done here. So next up, Family Guy, back to the multiverse. Now I am a huge Family Guy fan. I know not many people are. I just love the dark humor in this show and in this game. Uh, they did a pretty good job in it. It is uh, like a first person shooter or a third person uh, view shooter type thing, like a Grand Theft Auto type deal, but uh, they are stages. It's not really an open world, but if you like Family Guy, you would love this game. Next up here, I got South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now, this is a role-playing game, guys, and do not play with kids around. If you have kids, do not play it around, unless you allow them to watch South Park type thing, but uh, this game was just absolutely fan damn -tastic. I really loved it. If you guys like South Park, check out this game if you haven't. Guaranteed you'll like it. I know part two's out already. And uh, I have not played that one yet. And can't wait till I can get my hands on it. Now next up here is... Midnight Club Lost Angeles Complete Edition. This was a pretty cool game, guys. If you like racing games, you get to play in, like, uh, lowrider races, uh, like, drags and stuff. Uh, regular, like, modern sp uh, speed uh, cars type thing and motorbikes. And sometimes they even mix up, too. You can be on a motorbike uh, versus, like, a car type thing. Really uh, fun racing game. Now, next up here, guys, I got God of War Collection. God of War 1 and God of War 2. Again, these are some... Absolutely awesome games for them to come out on the PS1 and the PS2. I thought it was uh, not the PS1. Sorry, the PS2 um, came out with two uh, games. The first one and the second one is what I meant. The, the they just got better along the way, and um, part three is awesome as well. Now, next up here, guys, God of War three. Again, very awesome game. I love the conclusion to it. So much nicer the graphics, obviously, because it's on the PS3. And um, I have fun with these God of War games. I really do. I love the storylines. The, the uh, Greek mythology, I really love that stuff. All right, guys, next up here is Sleeping Dogs. This is like a Japanese-styled Grand Theft Auto I like this a lot more than a lot of the Grand Theft Auto games. Um, they did a really, really awesome job with this. I believe you can jump from one vehicle to another as you're driving or whatnot and take out some other people. It's pretty awesome. If you have not checked out Sleeping Dogs, check it out. Now the very last game here, guys, and I thank you all for staying with me this long through this video. And um, it will be L.A. Noir. Absolutely love L.A. Noir. I know I say that about almost every game that I have, but I don't buy games unless I absolutely like them. So, if you have not checked out L.A. Noir, check it out, guys. It is an awesome detective cop type deal story. Um, based, I believe, in the 1930s, and uh, everything that can go wrong in L.A. goes wrong in L.A., and you got to try to solve it. And you got to try to solve it properly, because if you don't, you get things wrong. You become a beat cop again instead of a detective. So, awesome game. That's going to be it for my PS3 collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I do appreciate you all watching. Thanks for your time. You all take care. Ciao.